Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. In this video, you will learn how to use the Click Data Market Connector with ClickView. So I've already started out by creating a simple application with some order and customers and sales related data. And you can see here we have sales by category, sales versus margin by order ID, and we have a text object that just shows the total sales in the database. So let's say for some reason we need to also provide analysis on the sales figures converted to euros. Let's say all the sales have been entered within US dollars and we need to now convert those sales to euros. Now I could very easily take the sum of sales and multiply it by the exchange rate, but where do I get that exchange rate from? Well, we could use that as a simple variable and then update it when the exchange rate changes, or we can pull it from our data as a service offering, click data market, and when we refresh this data, we'll have the most recent exchange rate with the most recent calculation. So let me show you how I do that. So in ClickView, I'm going to go into the data load editor. And in the data load editor, I already have all of the other data loaded. I'm going to add some new data to this existing data model. And you'll see within my database list, I have a connector called QV data market connector.exe. This is installed when you run the simple setup that you get from our download site. So all I have to do is click connect and you will receive a message about how Click Data Market provides access to a range of ready to use data services from our data as a service offering. And for your knowledge, we have both free and paid for data services. So if you have a paid for subscription for Click Data Market, you're going to need to license that and you do that by clicking on this help button, choosing update license, and then enter in your license key and control number. By doing so, that will provide you access to the premium or the pay for subscription based services. Okay, in this case, we're just going to use the free services. So when I click OK, it inserts the connect statement. And then the next step is choose select. And then from here, it'll show you a variety of topical packages that are available. Some of these have free data sets in them, and some of them are pay for. So you can select from business, demographics, society, currency, economy, and weather. And just for example, let me choose weather. And you can see that there is weather in 50 cities worldwide, and then a pay for would be weather in 500 cities worldwide. Let me just choose weather in 50 cities. And it'll come back with fields that have the different selections of the values that are going to come back and measures. So in this case, I can choose all of the countries, all of the cities, all of the date and times, and then I can choose a particular measure, such as average rainfall, dew point, snowfall, temperature, etc. Now, what you could do is link this to an existing column in your data, such as city or country, and you can get that external information, additional outward context, and mingle that with your internal data. So in this case, what we're going to do is let me choose select again, and I'm going to choose currency. And this will give me foreign exchange rates for major currencies. Okay, a pay for would be 21 by 21 currency exchange rates. And the free one is three by three, which include euro, pound, and US dollar. So for this example, we'll use that one. And for my base currency, this is the actual columns that are going to come back within the data set. And the exchange rate is going to be the measure. So we're going to get a column called exchange rate. There's going to be a base currency, a quote currency, and a uh, date and time field. So for example, my base currency is in US dollar. The quote currency that I want is going to be in euro and the date time will be most recent. So when I click preview, you're going to see we're going to have base currency, quote currency, date time, and exchange rate. And then I click finish, and I click reload. Okay, and then by doing so, I'm going to go back into the data load editor, and I'm going to go into the table model viewer, and you can see my existing data model along with the three by three currency exchange rate. Okay, and you can see that it's linked to an existing column in my customers table called base currency. Okay, let's go back into the view. And now you can see that my total sales for euros is calculated as follows. So this text object was already created. If I go to properties, and you can see there's my sum of sales multiplied by the column exchange rate. Okay, hope this was helpful in showing you how you can use Click Data Market with ClickView to grab external data and incorporate it with your internal data. Look out for more videos on this site that will show other examples of the value of Click Data Market. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.